Hello guys and welcome to my first intermediate level Johnson Controls CCT tutorial. And this is about programming the thermostat light on this specific model. The one that has the warmer cooler adjust dial. And this is the little light I'm talking about. And now before we move on, just a quick favor. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. That really helps out. Alright guys, so here we have a basic fan coil application and let's say that anytime this supply fan is given a start command, we want the thermostat light to turn on. And here we can see that there's a thermostat already in place. You can tell by the little icon, it looks like a little yellow thermostat. And we have a room temperature. That's the only value that we can see on all of our points. So we can go to define hardware. And under my control selection, you can see that this is already in place. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it so we can start from scratch. So I'm just highlighted, click delete. Are you sure? Yes. And you can see that this is going to disappear as soon as I close this window. Okay, so we have nothing there and nothing over here. Now let's go back to define hardware. I'm going to add a device an SA bus device add device and I want to look for a network sensor or net sensor and we have three types looks like so we don't want a CO2 we don't want a duct sensor so we want we want a, a room temperature sensor or a zone net sensor which is this one I'm just gonna click OK and we have a new window up here and I don't want a generic sensor, I want a, a zone sensor. So since we're only adding one, I'm just going to do zone. And you can see by default it chooses uh, or it picks zone temperature. And my thermostat light is going to be an output. It's going to be the occupancy status display. And why an output? is That's because we're going to be commanding that point so we can turn on the light. I'm going to add the sensor. It's here. And you can tell that uh, I already added a point here. If I close, uh, we also got an a OCC mode. So let's double click on it. And a key thing that you want to look for is the point units, which you can see them right here. It's OCC effective. It's a multi-value point. So it has these four values, occupied, unoccupied, bypass, and standby. So this is what you want to remember, occupancy effective. If you want, you can change the name of the point to make it easier to identify. Let's say OCC light, apply. And I'm going to close. And now we want to create a new activity by clicking at this plus sign. And I'm just going to type activity or the first letters. Click one. I just want to add one. And I'm going to name it uh, thermostat light command. And finish. Now, before going into my new activity, I want to know how I'm going to connect my fan start stop to my light. So I right click on the supply fan, view logic, and I can see that I have my supply fan start stop command right here. So if I double click on it, I want to look for the units. So it has the units of stop start and it's a multi value. So stop start, that's all I want to remember. I'm going to close, go back to my control logic, click on my thermostat light, right click and go inside view logic. Now what I want to do is to add my supply fan start stop as an input. And I know it's an enumerator input because it has a unit uh, of stop and start. And I want to add my thermostat like as an output which is also a, a enumerator and I want to uh, name this as sf dash star stop and my output as OCC 
dash light. Now I want to get a little closer by hitting the plus sign. And I want to configure both of my input and output. So I just right click on it, view details. And I know that the fan is has the units of uh, stop start. So I just look for that. I'm just going to hit STOP. And it's right there. Apply. And same thing for my occupancy light. So I can double click on it. Edit. And I know that this was occupancy effective. So I'm just going to type OCC. And just look for that. Occupancy effective apply and click close now what i want to do is to tell this output to turn on its light whenever my start stop is start and turn it off when this is stop that's simple so if i try to con make a straight connection i'll get this little window saying that the connection is not allowed and that's because my source it has different units than my destination, right? Stop start and occupancy effective. We can choose to change the source or the destination so they both match, but we don't want that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that and click. Instead, what I wanna do is to use a very specific module. It's called command hierarchy. And you can find that under selection, I believe and we have two types so since we know that these two uh, objects are enumerators so i'm just gonna choose the one with the enum output so i'm just gonna go and drag it over now i need to configure this module so basically i need to match its input uh, to my start stop and its output to my light so i'm gonna double click on it and notice that I have two inputs. So uh, I, I'm going to click on IO modifications, input output modifications. And this allows me to add or delete or rearrange inputs and outputs. So I'm just gonna delete the additional input by clicking then minus assign, confirm. And then I'm gonna exit IO modifications. And now, we want to modify my input i1 which i know that my input is my stop start so i'm just gonna look for that stop start and for my output uh, my output it's already a uh, enum so i'm just gonna look for occ effective so it matches my light and i'm gonna apply okay so now this is the critical part where you define how to turn on the light so basically, you want to go to edit, and for my input, I'm gonna pick stop, and for my second, the second row, I wanna pick start. So basically, when the fan is commanded to stop, we don't want to turn on the light. So I am going to just choose unoccupied. When my fan is commanded to start, I want to turn on the light. You see that I have multiple choices. So the key part for this thermostat is that you gotta command the thermostat to bypass. Nothing else. If you choose occup occupied or standby, it's not gonna turn on. So bypass, that's the key. You want to turn, you want to command the thermostat like to bypass. So I'm gonna apply that and close. Now let's start making connections. So I can connect my supply fan start stop input to my command hierarchy and then to my occupancy light. And this piece of logic is done. So now I go to connections and I gotta connect the actual supply fan and, and occupancy light. So I'm gonna, I can do it from here. I just go to control. So here's my new module. So it's supply fan start stop input. I'll connect it to the supply fan start stop right here. The only choice, easy, okay. And then my occupancy light to my actual point, thermostat point. So right click on it, make connection, only choice, input one, okay. And there you go. Okay, so I just started a quick simulation to show you how this works. So basically we have uh, my fan stop, 
that means that my occupancy light is commanded to unoccupied so it will be off so let's uh, start the fan by enabling the system enable I'm gonna click enable ok send the fan should start anytime soon start and you can see that the occupancy light was commanded to bypass so bypass means uh, light on so if I right click into my module and we can see that the logic is working and if I go inside you can see you, you can see the actual state start equal bypass any other value other than bypass is not gonna work it's gonna, the light is gonna be off even occupied so occupied unoccupied or standby the light will be off so bypass is the only value that works alright so this is the end of my thermostat light tutorial I hope this was very useful and that you learned this little trick. And if you like this video tutorial, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video.